I love you. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? Today I'm giving you a full review of a shoe that I am really excited about. Can you tell by how hype I am? And that shoe is the base model for Atreyu running. Let's do the damn thing. about Atreyu writing from a road trail run first run impressions video and I was immediately interested. I reached out to the founder Michael and I asked if I could get a pair for review. Luckily he had my size and my big feet were finally good for something and he sent them over. I wasn't sure what to expect from a startup company shoe. I wasn't sure that they would really be for me. Well after putting them through the paces for about 50 miles on all kinds of runs, fast for me, slow for me, indoors, outdoors, Doors, races, you name it, the Atreyu shoe has been on my foot for it. I'm really excited to report that the Atreyu shoe is absolutely for me and I think it could be for you too. If you're unfamiliar with how I structure my reviews, well, let me give you a rundown. First, I go through the specs, then I talk about the upper, the midsole, the outsole, and then my conclusions on the shoe. I also rate the shoe out of five stars, so if it's the best shoe I've ever worn and I never wanna take it off my foot, it's gonna be five stars. And if it's the worst shoe in the world and I want to throw it in the trash can, then it's gonna be one star. At the end of the review, I throw up a screen with the pros and the cons so you can kind of get an idea visually of what I like and dislike. Oh, and let's not forget, we're also gonna be talking about business model here because I really think that is the bread and butter of the Atreyu running company and what makes them so cool and so innovative. The pre-sale for the Atreyu shoe did start on Friday and is still going on, so you can grab yourself a pair. So grab your popcorn, sit somewhere comfortable, and let's get down and dirty. Can I say that? The weight of the Atreyu is absurd. For my size, which is a men's size nine and a women's size 10 and a half, the shoe is 5.6 ounces. I can't even feel that I'm holding a shoe. The heel to toe drop on the Atreyu is six millimeters, 21.5 in the heel and 15.5 in the forefoot. The upper of the Atreyu is made of a lightweight, breathable mesh that fits pretty snugly, snugly snugly snug you get it when i first got the shoes i thought that maybe the upper was a little too aggressive i thought that i could have afforded a little more area in the toe box my toes do touch the top of this shoe but it actually didn't cause me any issues at all thankfully i did mention this to michael the founder of atreyu running and he said that they actually are reformatting the sizes of their shoes so this woman's 10 and a half will actually be the women's size 10 and the 10 and a half will be more true to size, if that makes sense. That being said, in the past I might have told you to order up a half size, and I think I said that in my first run impressions video, but I don't think you guys are gonna need to do that anymore. I think you can just order the size that you normally wear, and it'll be pretty true to size. How many times can I say size in one sentence? Other than that, this upper is awesome. I had no issues with hot spots or rubbing or any kind of thing like that. It's extremely comfortable. It also features this wonderful pull tab for pull tab enthusiasts like myself and triathletes alike. 
The upper has loosened up maybe a little bit, but I still wouldn't call this shoe anything but dialed in. It conformed to my foot and it felt like I wasn't even wearing a shoe. Now, if you're wondering if the upper has any stability, it does, which is achieved by a lateral and medial stability weld. So I would still call this a neutral running shoe. It's really not a stability shoe by any means. Maybe that's in the future for a Treyu, but for now, this shoe is about as neutral as it's gonna get. This midsole. This midsole is a nice chunk of EVA foam, and I love it. Another thing that contributes to the really comfortable midsole of this shoe is the five millimeter sock liner inside. Now, don't get me wrong, plates and fancy foams are cool and I can fangirl out about that stuff, but I can also fangirl out about a midsole that's simple and just works. To me, the Atreyu midsole feels buttery smooth underfoot. It's not firm, it's not max cush, it's protective, it's comfortable, and it's a lively ride. When I take the Atreyu out for a spin, my stride feels natural. It's not being forced to do what the shoe wants. Instead, I feel like the shoe is doing what my stride wants. And I think that gets lost sometimes in translation with all this new fancy technology. I've taken the shoe out for approximately 50 miles and I haven't felt the EVA bottom out at all yet. And also never once did I feel like I was craving a little more cushioning underfoot. The only real signs of where I've seen is the creasing in the midsole, but I think that's to be expected. Here, I'll show you guys a little closer. So I did an easy 10 miler. I did a bunch of treadmill intervals. I raced a seven miler and I did countless outdoor workouts of five miles, three miles, four miles, you name it, I did it in this shoe. And it felt great no matter what I did. I have to be honest, when I first saw this shoe, I thought mm, this is gonna be for like elite and sub elite athletes because of how minimal and lightweight it is. But I gotta say, I certainly ain't that and this shoe has worked wonders for me. It's one of my go-to shoes and I've completed some of my best runs as of late in the Atreyu. One thing I will say is that there might be a slight learning curve when transitioning from a big bulky shoe to something like this. I know that in the past when I've gone from big, heavy, thick, <laughs> thick shoes to more minimal, lightweight, simple shoes that there has been a little bit of a, a process of getting used to that. So if you're used to running in something like this, I mean, compared to this shoe, it feels like I'm holding an anvil in my hand. You may need to get used to the Atreyu a little bit before making it one of the main shoes in your rotation. The outsole is also just EVA with a little added traction. If you look at the outsole of my shoe, you'll definitely see some wear. I mean, there's really no arguing that. But the interesting thing is that a lot of this wear happened in the beginning of me running in this shoe, and it hasn't gotten too terribly worse since then. My guess is that most of the initial wear is just cosmetic, but for having no rubber on the outsole, this traction was pretty impressive. I've run on damp roads, uh, pavement, kind of dirt slash sand-ish areas, uneven roads. It held up well every time. One negative that I will mention about the outsole of the Atreyu is that it is a rock vacuum because of the flex grooves in the outsole, which I do appreciate. It kind of just gets sucked up a little bit. There's one there. Um, there are some little ones. I did pick a bunch of my rocks out of the shoe before reviewing, um, but yeah, it, it definitely can be a little bit of a rock magnet. Now, I know some of you are gonna look at this shoe and see that there's absolutely no rubber on it, and you're gonna be concerned about durability no matter what I say. And yeah, it's a valid concern for sure, but Michael at Atreyu has a plan that might make you forget about durability altogether. Like I said, the pre-sale for this shoe started on Friday, and the one-time purchase price for a pair of Atreyus is $95. In my opinion, for that price, you should at least try it out, but that's just me. However, if you're scared about durability because you know that you blow through your shoes hella quick and you just rip those outsoles up and you know that, that's a big concern for you michael is also offering a subscription model where runners can pick between delivery periods of one to three months for as low as 75 dollars and that my friends is pretty damn cool nobody else is doing this 
that I know of. You won't have to worry about durability because your new shoe is coming in two months. The shoes will start shipping out on July 1st, so you won't get them for a while. But in my opinion, it's worth the wait considering the price tag and how much I actually like this shoe. Michael is also planning a recycling system for used shoes. So each pair will come with a prepaid return label. You run in them, run them into the ground, go nuts. And then when your pair is kind of out for the count, you send them back to Atreyu headquarters. The Atreyu folks will clean them, sanitize them, relace them put a new sock liner in, and then they'll distribute those to people in need. So not only can you hit your PRs in the shoe, but you can also give back to the community. To me, that's a win-win. Okay, I mean, obviously it's no secret that I love this shoe. If you've stuck with me this far, you obviously realize that. But with all that said, I'm giving the Atreyu shoe four and a half out of five stars. I know, that's a pretty good rating. I would recommend the Atreyu to anybody who's on a budget that's just looking for an all around, do it all, solid running shoe. It's not gonna bog you down because of weight, it's not gonna feel like a moon boot on your foot, and it's not gonna feel like a piece of cardboard under your foot either. Again, it's just a simple, nice shoe that works. All right, so with all that said, let's throw up the screen with the pros and the cons. So for pros, we have lightweight, this is a Feather light shoe. The midsole feels buttery smooth underfoot. The upper is extremely comfortable and I've had no issues with hot spots or rubbing, anything like that. The shoe is crazy affordable. It's just a simple, good running shoe that works. And for the last pro, we have a really innovative business model. For cons, we have durability. The next con I have is rocks in the outsole. This shoe is definitely a rock vacuum. And for the last con, we have that it might be a slight learning curve for those who are not used to lightweight, more minimal shoes, and that's it. Well guys, that kind of concludes my full review of the Atreyu. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe, and when you're done with that, hit that notifications bell down below so that you can find out every time I upload a new video. I recently hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is insane. I just wanna thank all of you who have taken the time to watch my videos, to like, to subscribe, to show them to a friend, to comment, everything. You guys are the reason why I do this. This is a great milestone, but like I've said on Instagram, this is only the beginning, so I'm glad you're on the journey with me. I have another video for you guys next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget, do not forget to run like Heller. See you next time.